It's registration day. I'm not sure if I will be able to register the bus today, but we'll see. <laughs> One of the main reasons I'm inquiring about registration services. I can go and ask questions and if there's any, any more information that she needs or if there's something else I need to do, then okay, sweet. Then I'll do it and then I'll make another appointment. It's just I can't get a hold of any anybody on the phone about registering this bus. Like I know that eventually I'll come around and I'll get this thing registered and it'll be fine. So I'm not worried about that in the long run. I just hope I can do it today, whether it's making the bus commercial, because I know it's not technically an RB right now, but let's make today interesting. to get an international school bus registered eventually i want to get it registered as an rv Still yellow? no Colors. black black white and pink so if i can't get it registered today i just need to know what i need to do because i looked everywhere and i have never found specifics if you could help me with that that would be fantastic ticket number j 5604 i have to fill out the uh, application for the registration i don't know how i didn't think of that before I sincerely miss those heavy metal bands I used to go see on the landing in the summer But she fell in love with the been over there for five minutes getting something Anything over 18, we need to have an exception So before we even give you a registration, you start with the exception What does that mean? You have to explain to them that you're not using it for commercial use And have that file If you're going to register it as a recreational vehicle. Okay. All right, so I get the paperwork for the ex exemption. I'm getting a temporary plate so I can drive it there. And then once I drive it there to get it inspected, once I get it inspected, I come back here. Once, once it passes inspection, I can come back here, slip it here to Robin, and I get, I get registration. Thank you. All right, you probably heard all that inside, but here's the first step. Dot waiver. I have to send a letter in. My full name and address, phone number, notarized signature, the VIN number, make, model, and year, detailed description of my intended use of the vehicle. The letter must say that the vehicle will not be in use for furtherance of business, and it is specifically for personal use. Let me plug you guys in. You're on a uh, low battery. Then I go back to the DMV, get it temporarily re registered, drive it inspection place. In order to get it passed, these are the requirements. I have to paint it a different color besides yellow, which I told him I painted a different color, but it's not. I have to remove the stop sign, it's already removed. Disable the flashing lights, and I already disabled the lights and everything. Add reflectors, I gotta see what that what that means. A fire extinguisher, I, I already have it, because Jim Miller gave me a fire extinguisher. I gotta mount it properly somewhere though. The camper must have running water and a sink. <sighs> It's gotta have a stove, it's gotta have a heating source. It's gotta have a bathroom or toilet, and it must be separated from, from the inside by a wall or something similar, like a sheet or something, I guess. And it's gotta have a bed. Those are the requirements. Now I know exactly what I have to do in order to get this Johnson registered, because before I had no clue, and this, this visit to the DMV was definitely very helpful. The ladies inside were very helpful, very nice, very kind. It took three of them to figure it out, but they got it. I'm gonna work for Kevin a little bit. Then we got Home Depot in the afternoon, so. Let's go complete the rest of today's activities. Here is the job site, doing stairs with Mr. Kim, a master of his craft. Oof, the recoil sent you guys flying. Kevin, have you ever had the bomb from the gas station? It's got jalapeno, corn, bacon. I've been trying to get my heat tolerance up because I want to be able to eat hot food. I might die. Oh, I'm gonna cry. It tastes good, I swear. <laughs> Mr. Kim doesn't think that, uh, you think, you think it'll just, this thing will just close on me? Didn't even stop. Can you Bicep open it, please? This is actually dangerous, man. Right on my foot. Finished up at Kevin's, or not just actually, I'm actually leaving the bus right now because I was taking a nap on a trampoline. Kevin knew that I, I was lacking a skill saw, so he bought me a Ryobi skill saw. 
That's very nice of him. He knew that I didn't have one, or I lost one actually a while ago. So he got me one. I was actually going to um, pick somebody up to give them a ride somewhere. I guess they don't need the ride anymore. I'm gonna be honest, I genuinely think it was God getting me off my butt. I'm not saying it was, I'm saying it could have been God getting me off my butt because uh, I was kind of just sitting there. After some editing, left for Home Depot a little bit early. So we're here at Dunkin'. Large strawberry dragon fruit refresher. Boston cream. This is a great song, by the way. So man made a ball. Let's go see Aiden. Boom. <laughs> Caught right to him. Noah, I don't think you've ever been on a vlog. And you're eating your flaming hot Doritos. He is. Back from the dead. I mean, I've seen you. But you just haven't said hi. No, you haven't seen me. Oh, I see. Aiden's music, not mine. 